Hi everyone, I'm Andre. I hope you are well. Thank you for uh, clicking on my video. I haven't been around much. Uh, many things have changed since we last talked and I'm trying to do something new. I'm trying to do something that I haven't done before and I haven't seen too many people approaching it uh, like this. But before I continue, I um, would like to encourage you to hit the like button and most importantly, hit the subscribe button with the bell thingy because some things are are about to come for a period of time. Am I vague? I'm very vague. Let me explain. I took a break from making YouTube videos, posting content, posting any picture whatsoever, anything. I just took a break from it all. And now I have this new idea. Let me give you some background. I moved down at the start of 2021. I am now back in my um, childhood home um, in an apartment in Deva, Romania. And me and my wife are building a house. We are not building a house. We are paying for the people that are building our house. And for another two months or something, we will still be here, but then we're gonna move again. So I knew that this would be confusing for a lot of people. Um, what I want to try and do with my YouTube channel uh, and my career as a producer, a guitarist, a recording engineer, all of this, I want to involve you as much as possible. So what I mean by this, I want to start like a vlog series in, in which I show you the ins and outs that come with being a session guitarist, session musician, uh, going and playing live shows, um, going to rehearsals, meeting with clients, uh, inbox stuff, so recordings and mixing and, and, and everything. And I want to be as genuine as possible. So that means you will see me fail greatly. You will hear me say stupid things that you will correct me in the comment section, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but the most important part is that I want to do things on my path in my career that are suggested by you. So when you have a, a business idea or feedback on something that you see me do, I, I want to take the feedback and apply it so that you can see how your idea would unfold in someone's uh, career choices. And that would, I think that would be way more interesting to you as a viewer. And I would try new stuff. I would try new approaches. Uh, this makes me a bit uncomfortable, but also really excited. I would love to see what everybody thinks and how other people would do the, the things that I would, that, that I am doing. And I want to, to make it like a, a series for, I don't know how long, I don't know how often I'm going to post. I, I don't want to make any promise because, um, yeah, I've done that before and didn't work too good. For today's episode from this series, I want to bring you along on a, um, writing session. I am working along uh, a very close friend of mine, Andre Buliga, that has BBD Records. I will put the links down below. We work together on many projects. He sends me work especially for um, guitars. So I record acoustic guitars, electric guitars and bass. Um, for his projects, depending on what he needs. And because it's November, he started working on some carols and 
today he sends me a project in which I have to do some really ambient guitars with a lot of reverb, reverb delays, stuff like that. And so you can see today my my helix patches, how I choose notes, I think is, is going to be very interesting. Without further ado, let's, uh, let's open this project and see what it is. Okay, so we are in the project. This is typically what I get. Uh, depending on who sends it. For some reason, the original song did not send over. I don't know why. This is the is mock-up instrumental that he did. So this will be uh, way better. It's not bad. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I think he did it in two hours or something like that. Just so I have something to put my stuff over. So the, the, the way that I go about these things is as follows. Uh, I see the tempo is 120. First, I'm gonna put my, uh, set the same BPM in, this is the Helix interface, and I'm going to, to set it the same. So these are, this song is gonna have a lot of delays and reverbs and Need to make sure everything syncs. This is vocal, the lead vocal as a guide. This song is actually the, the one that the version that we are working on is a cover. So, and they took the original lead and put it over his instrumental. So I have a lead guide. So I know where to add stuff, where not to add stuff. And, uh, this is all that I need, really. This song is called, in translation, A Bright Christmas. Every time I just try to go through the song, uh, find all the key parts, learn the chords, I very, very rarely get uh, a chart of with chords, only if it's some song that is really complicated and has many changes or key changes, then I, I get the chart. But usually I just learn it, just go once through it and learn it by ear, no problem. chords um, using numbers so that it, it's easier to understand if suddenly he says oh no we are changing keys I still know the chords because I know them by number not by name I don't know if that makes sense for everyone <laughs> Thank you. 
learned that if you go through the same part a few times, um, like in a loop, you while playing, or this happens to me at least, uh, I start hearing ideas. I play something, but in my mind I hear an idea and then I just stop, find the idea on the guitar and then try to play it. And now I heard a, a note that I think I want to play. This is an idea. Whenever you have something that is somewhat uh, coherent, try to record it and then you can add how many tracks you want, but it's better to have the idea and not use it than want to use it and don't remember it. Happened to me way too many times not to do it. some mistakes there, let's try to correct those. Uh, I might make the same mistake. If I make the same mistake twice, usually it means that I don't I'm, I'm not sure what I should play there. This is a sketch anyways, because everything that I do that I first send to Andre and then he says if he wants something different or if, yeah, these are good. And if it's good, most of the things I retrack so that I'm just 100% sure that everything is fine and perfect. Okay, let's listen further. I would... I would do something here. I would do something there, but maybe... solo a very very mellow solo
something like this. Okay, so I added some stuff, um, mainly, basically I copied the verse and the chorus, this, uh, this doubles, I, in the meantime, I talked to Andre on the phone, and he said that he wants me to do the main line as a solo here, and then I decided to add some, some thirds on top just to make it more interesting. He said he wants the solo with no effects. He wants to add the effects, okay. And this is not perfectly played, but I will retrack everything tomorrow. Oh, I remember. This, as I said in the beginning, this is taken, the lead vocal is taken out from the original. So it doesn't match, at least rhythmically, the best, so. I should probably do this without the lead. Last night I decided to uh, stop recording the filming because it uh, was getting late and I needed to move faster um, and since then since you last saw me play I have talked to Andre and um, he listened to everything that I've done here and he said that uh, it's good he just gave me some pointers some notes that I have to change here and there but we are good to move to the final recordings. Why I work like this, you'd, you could say that it's slower to just make a version and then track everything again. Do that one is because I don't want to put in a lot of time and effort to play um, the perfect take and then the client says, oh no, I want that changed. That's a waste of time. And also, when I compose these parts and produce everything, I can't really focus on playing the best take. I focus on, does this work? How does this uh, uh, integrate in, in the song? So after I know that the client is happy with the, the composition of the parts, then I can peacefully go and uh, Re record everything perfectly or as perfect as I can. I will add the link to the song when it's uh, officially released. It's somewhere in December. I will leave it down below in the comment section. I'm sure I will make a, a Instagram post or something like that about it uh, or a Facebook post. So if you want to check it out once it's done, you can go over on my Instagram and just follow me there and you will be uh, kept updated. This would conclude my first episode of this vlog series. Uh, I, I don't know what to call it yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, if, if something that I presented here in this episode was unclear, and I can clarify in the comment section or you have ideas of on how to improve uh, my style of uh, vlogging, please also let me know. I want to, to make the best content for you. And as I said in the beginning, I really want you to be a part of it. I want to do this, this thing together. I want you to be involved as much as possible. And so until next time, Take care and make sure to let me know what you do. I want to see what you guys record, 
produce, what you play, an Instagram account, anything. I will follow everyone that puts their Instagram down below. So make sure to leave that there. I really want to see what you're up to. Well, you've been wonderful. I've been Andre. This is a stolen line from Fluff. See you next time.